This marks gold and silver's incredible turnaround moment. I sure hope you bought the dip. I did. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Gold is up. Silver is way up this week. Unbelievable, right? The sentiment towards precious metals is changing, people. And I've been telling you in prior videos and live streams to buy the dip before a Federal Reserve turnaround, a pivot. Now, I don't know for sure if this marks the bottom in the spot price of gold and silver. I don't know. But don't be that guy or gal <laughs> that talks the contrarian talk but doesn't walk the contrarian walk. Don't chase what's hot and sell it when it's not. What we've witnessed this year was a, I think, a short-term shakeout of weak hands. People that are scared of buying precious metals while it goes down. <laughs> That's when you should be buying it, folks. But as I said, sentiment has begun to change and that's why I bought this. The reason we have been seeing weakness in precious metals in 2022 was for, I think, three reasons. One, money printing inflation became the boogeyman. Two, the Fed flexed their muscles with interest rates. And three, people ran to the US dollar as it gained strength against other currencies. That is the reason for the drop in the price of silver and gold for the last few months. But now we're seeing a significant reversal in the dollar. Down. Precious metals. Up. Why is that? Three quick reasons. One, the Bank of England pivoted back to QE. China was already easing. Now the Bank of England is easing. And England won't be the last one to give up their inflation fight. Number two, Credit Suisse. They sounded the alarm with respect to these interest rate hikes. It's like they were the canary in the coal mine. They gorged on debt, they're all levered up, and now they're in trouble. And they are not the only bank. And three, everyone is starting to question the sanity of the Federal Reserve. Check this out from the UN. Oh, you gotta stop. Please stop raising rates. This is cannibalism. You're killing us. That's why metals are going up. Now, we still have inflation. The Fed is, you know, is... I think getting ready to shift the focus off of inflation, though, and back onto the economy. They're going to claim some sort of victory with inflation. And that's why I told you to buy silver and gold. And that's why I just finished off my guardhouse box. Let's open this and check it out. Oh, it's heavy. <sighs> wow. This was triple sealed and boxed. Ugh. Look at this bag. Yeah. Quarters. I've been waiting so long to finish this this uh, guardhouse box off. I am so super stoked. And I think this is just the beginning. Guys, the markets are sensing how close we are to another financial crisis. A banking crisis. Credit markets seizing up. They are questioning the Fed's resolve now. They're not outright doubting the Fed, but they are questioning them. Okay, the dollars dropped because of it. Now, does the Fed dig in and try to save face, you know, send out their regional presidents, have them hit the talk show circuit, say, oh no, we're resolved, we're going to keep fighting inflation? They could. That could also spawn a stroke in the financial sector. Do you really see them letting that happen? Do you? Do, do, do you see them letting another Lehman Brothers or Bear Stern scenario play out? I don't think so. I think the Fed is going to capitulate and that's when oh, and that's when inflation is going to explode. That's when gold and silver and mining stocks are really going to take off. But I'm not waiting for the pivot. I think gold and silver and mining stocks will front run that move by the Fed regardless of what the stock market does. And when that pivot hits, you may have missed out on a great opportunity. I bought physical silver. This is some of it. I bought gold. You're going to see a video on that soon. But I also bought more of something else. Something I told you I was going to buy more of. Gold Royalty Corp. I hope you had a chance to see my interview with their CEO, Dave Garofalo, back in mid-July. I said I was going to increase my holdings of gold royalty. 
See, I speculate sometimes with a, a really small portion of my portfolio in commodities and in the mining sector. I love the upside potential with junior mining companies and especially royalty companies. Gold Royalty is sponsoring this segment of my video. And I'm going to tell you the three reasons I increased my position, why I bought the dip on G-Roy. Number one, it's a royalty. Royalties avoid much of the inflation hit that many junior miners feel. They're almost immune to it. And royalties are money makers. Let me give you an example. So maybe it'll help you with this. Bruce Springsteen sold his master recordings and publishing rights to Sony for a half a billion dollars recently. His music is said to be generating around $15 million a year in royalties. And he wrote most of all these songs before many of you listening were even born. That collection is a royalty cash cow. I think gold royalty could be my cash cow if David Garofalo can execute on his business plan. Guys, there is a 150% ROI potential in the next 12 months alone, according to analysts. That's the first reason. The second reason is its jurisdictions. And by jurisdictions, I mean where the mines are. 95 sites are in Canada, and 96 of their properties are in the U.S. Places like Nevada, Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, New Mexico, California. Guys, you really want your mining companies to be in good jurisdiction so they're not seized by some rogue government. All right, and number three, I love what David is doing with G-Roy. They bought the biggest gold mines in Canada and in the U.S. And his strategy is a simple one, okay? Buy, consolidate, and grow. That, that's it right there in a nutshell. I think I like threes today for some reason. <laughs> Buy, consolidate, and grow. I mean, he's he's not a, a, a poodle in the mining space. He's, he's not aiming for the big dogs either. He wants to be a mid-sized pit bull in the royalty space. Gold royalty is going to see 700,000 meters worth of drilling this year across all their 200 properties at no cost to gold royalty. No cost. That's brilliant. That's why I'm a shareholder. And that's why I'm in G-Roy for the long term. Just like I am with my physical gold and silver. Oh man, I gotta dump these out. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna end this video and uh, fill my uh, tubes with these silver quarters and be done with my guardhouse box. Hey, check out the description below for all the info on Gold Royalty. They trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol G-R-O-Y. Now, I'm not a licensed professional financial advisor, so you don't want to just buy them because Yankee did. Okay, You must do your own due diligence and take your own risk. Decide if Gold Royalty is right for you. All right. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I hope your day is a-okay.